This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make 2. The Sims Mobile is releasing worldwide today. Thanks so much to EA Game Changers for flying us out to their headquarters so we could capture footage of the final release build to share with you all. The game should be showing up in app stores worldwide. If you don't see it in your app store yet, then just be patient and keep checking back. It might take a little bit of time to roll out over the different time zones and all of that. So here we are with our Sim Bluebell. She is moving into her house in Simtown. She's just moved to Simtown and she looks pretty excited about discovering her new home. Taking a look at a little peek inside there and oh my goodness, that is not the nicest house in the world. Yeah, I think even the game is calling it a fixer upper. <laughs> as you can see, there is a ton of dust flying around as she sweeps it up. Furniture covered in dust cloths. Oh, she's kicking the ball. She seems a little bit unhappy with the state of the home, but well, she's proud of herself. I'm proud of her for getting stuck in straight away and starting to clear up the place. Yeah, we did a whole Create a Sim video where we showed how we made Bluebell, and we mentioned in it that she's coming from humble beginnings with big dreams. So I think this sort of fixer-upper is probably all she could afford to begin with. Yeah, I know you're not going to like this, but I'm looking at that leaky toilet in the back and definitely <laughs> these are humble beginnings indeed but she's now got a nice sofa she's unveiled and she leveled up in her lifestyle now we're gonna learn more about lifestyle as we play more of the game but for now i think it's enough to say that the more you improve your lifestyle the better you can continue to make your house that makes sense to me looks like blue is gonna carry on clearing up the living room what's under this drop cloth a relatively nice table and chair so she can have guests over or a guest over, I guess. <laughs> she seems very excited that the living room is now looking pretty good. It's at least clean mm -hmm. and there's somewhere to sit. Nowhere to cook, but at least somewhere <laughs> to sit. All right, so the game wants us to focus on one room next. And I think the bathroom is probably it. You already yes. pointed out that nasty toilet. And it is probably good for Blue to have some place to do the necessary. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, so as you can see, the game categorizes rooms into collections. And basically what that is, is a guide to help you place necessary items of furniture themed according to rooms. Mm -hmm. So for the bathroom, we have a toilet we started with. We then have a shower, a basin. Sink. <laughs> yeah, they're the same thing. And a towel rail. So what that means is she can get clean, she can brush her teeth, she can wash her hands, she can take care of the necessary and dry herself. Mm-hmm. Those all seem pretty important bathroom things to me. And as you complete collections, which means fully furnished rooms, then you get rewards. Which we like. So now we've leveled up our lifestyle even more to unlock nicer house things as we go on. All right, and somebody is at the door. And who is this? Say hello to Bella Goth. Oh, hello, Bella. Looking a lot more relaxed than we usually see her in other Sims games. I like her look though, very welcoming neighbour. Mm -hmm. And I think it's nice for Blue to meet her neighbours and just get to know Simtown. It's her first day, her first hour in Simtown. So the game is prompting us to do little actions with Bella and I'm having Blue Bell talk about her dreams for the home because I think, mm. as we said in the Create a Sim, she just has these dreams to have a successful career, have good friendships, maybe find love. And I think having a nice house will be a good foundation for pursuing all of those adventures. She definitely needs a good place to call home, and she also needs somewhere she can go to work to earn money to pay her rent. Yes. So it looks like a job has opened up for her in Parkside, and it looks like the job she's best qualified for is a barista. Very entry level. Yeah, so... I think this makes sense for her. She's been able to get a job as a barista, so congratulations to Blue. <laughs> now, as we will see, jobs, and actually quite a lot of the game, are governed by stories. And these stories basically give some structure and flavor to the way different things play out, like careers and relationships. We're going to see plenty more of stories as we continue to play the game. But for now, Blue's story is to become a new brewer, it looks like, and to learn the way of the latte. <laughs> I think this is the first chapter in her story, mm -hmm. and hopefully she'll get a chance of going through more chapters and advancing the story and advancing her career at the same time. Mm. Now, the first part of this story and chapter is to actually have a shift, being a... Barista. Bar <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what she is. Early brewer. What's the... 
New brewer, New but brewer, a yeah. barista nonetheless. Let's yeah. not downgrade her actual <laughs> career. I'm sorry, I'm okay. sorry. Like, I think she's super enthusiastic about it. She goes right up to the customer to hand them their cup of coffee. That's definitely great service, <laughs> which is very important in an industry like being a barista. And she's so enthusiastic that she cleans the table while the customers are still <laughs> sitting there. Well, it looks like she's following her colleague who's doing the same thing. True, true. So as you can see, we now have, looks like a countdown timer on here. 30 or so minutes is how long her shift lasts. You could actually leave your sim to just do the work shift and you can close your game and walk away and they'll complete it just fine. But if you actually walk them through these actions, tapping on the bubbles with the stars, you can complete it a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we've already completed it without much bother. And she's already leveled up mm. in her career. That's amazing. Well done. And her coworker is Brooke, and it sounds like she's giving her some encouragement. And we've completed this chapter, New wow, Brewer. That's cool. And doing that, we have unlocked a refrigerator, which is nice because we don't have a refrigerator <laughs> and we need one. So completing these events and chapters both gives us coins and cash and that kind of thing, and also items we can put in our home. Mm hmm. I love these little dialogues that we get. Ooh, looks yeah. like she's going to be learning latte art <laughs> from Brooke, her mentor, perhaps. But before we do that, let's go home and place that refrigerator that we've just unlocked. Yeah, because we have some cabinets, but you can't have a kitchen with just cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> just, just imagine in those cabinets, like big boxes of Oreos and cookies and potato yeah. chips and that kind of thing. She needs some proper food, and for that, she needs a refrigerator. And eventually she probably needs a stove and oven, but I'll tell you guys right now, that will be unlocked later in the game once we have leveled up enough to unlock hobbies. Cooking hobby is what unlocks the oven. So, as you can see, we've got a daily list of tasks, and we've done the leveling up in a career. And the next one is to continue tidying up the house. So here we have Blue cleaning up the bedroom and that really has come up very nicely with just a little bit of effort from Blue. So mm -hmm. I'm pleased about that. And look at that, we've leveled up and Blue now has access to a whole bunch of different things, chairs and plants and rugs and such. I don't think she has the cash yet to buy any of this, but no, she but can at least go window shopping. She can, definitely. And it's good to have dreams and aspirations, as we've said. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next thing on the to-do list is you can either complete another event or greet someone new. You get a mm. cupcake for that. Cupcakes, I think, instantly replenish all of your Sims' energy, the 30 out of 30 that you can see below. Ooh, here's a handsome chappy walking down the sidewalk. Let's go ahead and meet Henry. Ooh, made like a flirty introduction. Yeah, why not? Let's get started. <laughs> wow, he seems to be uh, enjoying the attention. And why wouldn't he? Blue's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so that completes. We've met somebody new, and okay. we can wow. ooh, start an event, which is a date. Let's do it. Yeah. Cool. So, guys just walking down the street, they say hello, go on a date. Simtown seems pretty fun. <laughs> and nice that her date automatically takes her to the cafe where she works. Ah, maybe they can get free coffees. Yeah, seems like a benefit. Oh, and they're hugging already. Wow. So this date seems to be going pretty well. Ooh, looks like uh, Blue's going to try some singing. See how that works out for the date. I think this is still in the realm of conversation. Like maybe she's sounding out her date about how he feels about things like that. Like mutual love of karaoke. Yeah, makes sense. They haven't actually sat down to have coffee just yet, but no. mm, yeah. So it looks like we're going to be able to do a risky action. So the benefit of risky actions is that if they succeed, you get a whole bunch of these stars, which will advance the event that much more. If you fail, it's fine. You'll still get some stars, but you won't get as many as if you had succeeded. The other cool thing about risky actions, you get these really good animations, mm -hmm. which are always really fun to watch. It looks like that one went well. Very nice. They've got chemistry. Yeah. And she got so many stars from that that the date has completed. Excellent. I hope the date went well. Definitely seemed to go well from both Blue and Henry's perspective. All right. He had a wonderful time. And he wants to see her again. Now we have the chance to have another story, this time for the relationship between Blue and Henry. And you can see we have a whole different number of choices about what story, what type of relationship the two are going to have. 
yeah, like a tainted love or fixer up or a secret crush. And basically, these, I guess, will flavor the kinds of dates and interactions they'll have out of the dates. So, what relationship are you going to go for? I'm thinking, since it's the first in the list, let's go for tainted love. <laughs> I mean, it's a it, good a reason as any. It sounds dramatic. It sounds like it could bring some spice into Blue's life. Yeah, I also think it's a bit early on in Blue's time in Simtown just to go straight to soulmates. We want a little bit of drama. Yeah, and it sounds like from the dialogue, they did instantly hit it off, and they are feeling some intense feelings about each other,、mm -hmm. which could mean rocky road going forward. Because, you know, love at first sight, really, really. Yeah, something about what burns twice as bright burns for half as long. Ooh, good line. Okay, so <laughs> having completed the date event, that completes Blue's daily task list, and we also level up, and yet more window shopping she can do. Just kind of build her Amazon wish list, I guess. <laughs> exactly. All right, so now we get to choose a personality trait for her. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for better daily login rewards. I mean, it sounds nice to just get something rewarded just for logging in. <laughs> and she seems. Very angelic about that. That's pretty cool. So it's been a pretty eventful first day for our bluebell. Yeah, she moved in. She cleaned up her house. She met Bella. She started a job as a barista, and she met and went on a date with Henry. Got a job, met a boy, <laughs> gone on a date, and now is on the road potentially to having a bit of a rocky romance with that boy. So, like we said, guys, we are planning to take Bluebell through hopefully a long-running series. And if you want to follow along with Bluebell's future adventures, please feel free to subscribe. We've also got a few more Sims Mobile videos which we've posted on our channel. Please check the video description below. We'd love to know what you think of Bluebell and her adventures. We'd also love to hear what you guys are doing in your games. So please leave a comment below. Tell us what you're thinking. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.